So over the weekend, uh, Georgia police uh, arrested 10 counter-protesters during a neo-Nazi rally. So this was this was a, a right-wing, ultra-right-wing rally um, with about 30 people from uh, who were actually neo-Nazis. Okay, so again, neo-Nazis, they're out here saying, um, oh, we need to protect the Confederate monuments. We need to make sure to go after the the Jew media and all that stuff. So there are uh, there were some counter protesters there and actually they outnumbered uh, the the neo Nazi protesters by quite quite a bit. Uh, so the police decided, you know who we're going to target? We're going to target the leftists. Now, their crime was wearing masks in public. Wait. According to HuffPost, the officers, who themselves wore bulletproof vests and helmets and carried semi-automatic rifles, basically looked like they were some sort of police occupying force, had cornered anti-fascist protesters and then grabbed those who still had masks on, tossing them to the ground, handcuffing them, and arresting them. At one point, an officer pointed to what seemed to have been, or I'm sorry, what seemed uh, to be a modified AR-15 at the face of counter-protesters, none of which who appeared to be armed. Now, there was one armed counter-protester, and that's it. I'll get to that later. But hey, oh, look at that. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to keep order by pointing these weapons at unarmed counter-protesters. You know, because we respect their right to assemble, we respect their First Amendment rights and all that stuff. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. But wait, they're not a threat. They're just, they're counter-protesters. But again, uh, there's this whole myth of, oh my God, we got the violent leftists out there. And they're wearing masks. They're so scary. Antifa with their masks. They're so fucking scary. Uh, we're going to crap our pants here and basically aim weapons, loaded guns, at these protesters. And what the hell is wrong with this picture? A, a lot, man. A lot. So, look. Why did this happen? Again, the masks, right? Apparently wearing masks is somehow illegal under Georgia state law. In fact, the lead officer in the arrest said the counter-protesters were breaking state law, referring to a seldom enforced 1951 law originally aimed at combating hooded KKK members. So the cops are treating left-wing protesters, anti-fascists, anti-racists, the same way that they would treat the KKK, except that it is seldom enforced against the KKK. <laughs> All right, then. And look, this is after the Charlottesville rally, where neo-Nazis ran a car injured uh, through a crowd, injured 19 people, and killed one, Heather Heyer. And you know what you know what they did down south in a lot of these different states, by the way, after that happened? They said, oh, they passed laws where you could run over protesters. They made it legal. And again, they're going after left-wing protesters. <laughs> so, oh, but no, the masks, they're scary. So they're like KKK masks. So we, we got to arrest them. We got to go after them, right? You know why they wear the masks? So they could avoid being identified by law enforcement and neo-Nazis. Look, which in some places are essentially the same thing. They go hand in hand. In fact, some of the people who become police officers are actually white supremacists and, and Klan members whose sole purpose is to infiltrate law enforcement so they could do this kind of shit to left-wing protesters or African-Americans people of color, minorities. So, yeah, when the cops have basically become the fascists. Now, there's more. While the masks were not allowed, as well as um, there were other things that were also uh, not allowed, uh, like balloons. So, no masks, no balloons. But you know what's allowed? Weapons. Georgia is an open carry state. So you can bring your bring your guns. Can't bring your balloons, but you can bring your guns. 
insanity. This country has gone into complete insanity. Now, HuffPost saw one neo-Nazi and one anti-fascist protester, both carrying semi-automatic weapons. So guess what? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it, hey, bring your guns. Bring all your guns. If you do, you're fine. But if you dare to wear a mask, well, then you're a dangerous person and we need to arrest you. But again, you know why they wear the masks, right? So that law enforcement can't come to their house later and arrest them for being a left-wing protester, which has happened before. Look, if you're an anti-racist, an anti-fascist protester in Charlottesville, for example, the government, the state government, has put you under surveillance, very likely put you under surveillance. And again, there are cases where this has happened. Well, of course, if you're a member of an ultra-right-wing group, well then, no, nobody in the government's going to watch you because it might offend Republicans. Also, this is why the federal government no longer, even under President Obama, looked into right-wing terror groups. I think places like, uh, or groups like Sovereign Citizens and these other white nationalist racist hate groups. No, no, can't look into them because some Republican congressmen uh, feel this, is, that this targets Republicans. No, it targets the ultra right wing fringe of dangerous people. Again, these are neo Nazi groups that have talked about openly killing segments of the population and who have hurt and, yes, even killed people belonging to that segment of the population. They have a platform of hating anybody who is different. And if that offends you, if the thought of watching them and making sure that the government keeps tabs on them so that they don't hurt and kill people, if that offends you, then you're a terrible person. It's as simple as that. You're likely one of them. It's, just, it's, it's amazing that here in America in 2018, we have literal Nazis out there that are protesting, and yet... It seems to be the left that gets targeted far more. You know what the first thing the Nazis did? People like Hitler when they took over the party. They kicked out the actual socialists. And again, they, this uh, group of protesters, by the way, is like the National Socialist Union or something. They're not socialists at all. They're incredibly ultra right wing. Again, the first thing that they do is they kick out the actual socialists. They kick out the left-wingers. They kick out the academics. And then they fill these people or these, uh, these groups with people that are incredibly hateful. The leader here called out the, oh, the Zionist media. They're calling us a hate group. Oh, my God. You are a hate group. You hate other people. Simply for being other people. That is a hate group. It, again, this, this is history all over again. Where right-wing groups that are dangerous are ignored. And leftists, again, all over. Journalists, even, are being targeted by the government. If you're not concerned at all about this, then... I don't, I don't know what to say. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.